Ladies and gentlemen, the manager of the recruit training unit, Inspector Darren Carnes, will now take command of the parade. The parade will now receive the parade host, Acting Chief Superintendent Debbie Platts, Education and Training Command. She will be met by the Commander, Recruit and Policing Skills, Superintendent Andy Morrow. The arrival now of the Commissioner of Police, Mr. Ian Stewart. He will be greeted by the parade host, escorted to the dais, and received by the parade with a general salute. The parade will now receive our principal official guest, the Honourable Mr Jack Dempsey, MP, Minister for Police, Fire and Emergency Services. He will be met by the Commissioner, escorted to the dais and accorded a general salute by the parade. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the Australian National Anthem to be sung by recruit Adam Ferguson. Police officers in uniform are requested to salute. Please be seated. Stand up. Hey. 
Undoubtedly the highlight of our program is the imminent induction into the Queensland Police Service of the Recruits on Parade. I know that many of you have travelled long distances to be here for that very reason. Before a person begins to perform duty, there is a formal process to be applied in accordance with the Police Service Administration regulation. This practice requires the individual member to pledge his or her loyalty to our Sovereign, Queen Elizabeth II. He or she then signs the oath or affirmation of office in the presence of a commissioned officer of the service. This segment, referred to as an induction, is the transition from the learning environment to being a sworn officer in the Queensland Police Service. As part of the procedure, each member is presented with a wallet containing his or her identity card and official badge. Take them officers, please fall in. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the administration of the oath and the affirmation of office. I invite my colleagues to reaffirm their allegiance to our sovereign by reciting the oath or affirmation of office in unison with the recruits on parade. Preface by the word I, state your given names and surname in full. You are to repeat your oath or affirmation of office after me. Swear by Almighty God that I will well and truly serve my Sovereign Queen Elizabeth II, Queen Elizabeth II. Her, heirs her heirs and successors according to law in the office of constable. Or in such capacity as I may be appointed, promoted, or reduced. Without favour, affection, malice, or ill will. From this date until I am discharged. That I will cause Her Majesty's peace to be kept and preserved. that I will prevent to the best of my power, power. all offences against, against the same, and that, and that while I am a member of the Queensland Police Service, I will to the best of my skill and knowledge, discharge all duties legally imposed upon me. Faithfully and according to law. Faithfully and according to so help me God. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Please be seated. Table officers, please be seated. Today we are inducting 95 recruits into the service. They commenced training here at the Oxley Academy on the 5th of August 2013. The training they undertook included instructions in the areas of driver training, physical skills education, computer training and firearms and officer safety.
The parade sergeant for today's parade is Sergeant Verity Partridge. Verity is a facilitator within the recruit training unit and has been involved with police training since 2011. Verity commenced her career in policing in 1994 and has previously performed general duties in Oxley and Rockhampton. Verity was also a police prosecutor and spent 13 years at Logan District Prosecutions. The flag party for today's parade is composed of facilitators from the recruit training unit. The members carry the Queensland state flag on the right, with the police service flag on the left. The flag party commander this afternoon is Sergeant Lisa Duncan, and the flag bearers are Sergeant Kath Brady and Sergeant Jeff Hawkins. The facilitators involved in the training of the graduating groups are police officers with operational experience and staff members who have an academic background with the skills required to teach in accordance with the education requirements for this training establishment.
we would like to acknowledge our award recipients on their achievements during the recruit program. These recruits are Jay Merchant, Angus Polson, Jacob Lichowski, Janet Ward, Lucy Taylor, Brendan Walker, Brendan Gadd, Thomas Ailing. Congratulations to all our award recipients. On behalf of Acting Chief Superintendent Platts, we acknowledge the efforts of all staff involved in the training of our newest graduates. Their professionalism and dedication to training is greatly appreciated and is evident here by the swearing in of each individual on parade today. Next parade will take place on the 20th of March 2014 here at the Tom Malloy Parade Ground. On that parade we expect to have 96 recruits inducted into the service. On the 1st of January 2014, the Queensland Police Service marked 150 years of policing, 
since separating from New South Wales. The Commissioner of Police acknowledges the service of all past and present members who have contributed to this milestone and the celebration of our anniversary. A part of this formal recognition incorporated every serving police officer being presented with a citation. This device was issued for wear commencing the 1st of January. Thank you, table officers. Please fall out. Ladies and gentlemen, Commissioner Stewart will now present the Executive Award. This honour is given to the individual who has achieved excellence, competency, and professionalism in the recruit program. Assessment is accredited on individual conduct, leadership qualities, skills performance, academic results, and commitment to the ideal principles of service to the community. The Commissioner's Award for Intake 6 of 2013 is Constable J Merchant. Constable Merchant will be presented with the perpetual shield denoting his achievement by the Commissioner. Ladies and gentlemen, Constable Merchant. The Queensland Police Service Statement of Ethics supports our vision and purpose, priorities and qualities of the organisation, namely courage, fairness and pride, to deliver quality policing services. It is a commitment that every member of the service undertakes in accordance with the standard of practice, the code of conduct, and the functions of the service. The statement of ethics is a standard expected by the Commissioner of Police, colleagues, and community, and an acceptance by the individual to practice high standards of conduct and behavior as a police officer both on and off duty. I now invite Constable Merchant to adopt the Statement of Ethics on behalf of the Constables on Parade. On behalf of the new Constables, I am pleased to adopt this Statement of Ethics. As a member of the Queensland Police Service, I have a duty to protect life and property, preserve the peace, prevent offences, detect and apprehend offenders, and to help those in need of assistance. At all times, I will carry out my duties without fear or favor, malice or ill will. I will act honestly and with the utmost integrity. 
I will make every effort to respect and uphold the rights of all people in the community, regardless of race, social status, or religion. I will strive for excellence and endeavor to improve my knowledge and professionalism. I will keep confidential all matters which I may learn in my official capacity, except as necessary in the course of my duties. I will practice self-discipline in word and deed, both on and off duty. I will resist the temptation to participate in any activity which is improper or which can be construed as being improper. I will not misuse my office for personal gain. I will accept responsibility for my own actions and for acts which I may order. And I accept the desirability of these ethics as an integral part of my personal and professional life. Thank you, Constable Merchant. Senior Police Chaplain, Reverend Graham Ransdon, will now offer the blessing. Lord God, we know that it's through establishing processes for justice, peace and good order that a caring community works to keep safe those who are vulnerable and innocent. For this reason, we ask your blessing upon these newly graduated officers as they become sworn members of the Queensland Police Service. We thank you for your, their willingness to serve the community in this way, and we're thankful for the hard work and personal application they have given for preparing themselves for the duties of being a police officer. We pray they may always exercise the powers of their office with responsibility, and that they may be aware of the influence they are entrusted with as police officers. Lord, empower these new officers with courage when they are confronted by danger. Give them integrity when confronted with ethical choices. Endow them with compassion when assisting those suffering and victimised. Grant them impartiality when enforcing the law. And bless them with a willing graciousness to accept assistance when required. Be present with these officers in the challenges of their new profession, so that at the end of every shift they may, with confidence and pride, know they have served with honour. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Ramsden. Ladies and gentlemen, Commissioner Stewart will now address the parade. Minister for Police and Community Safety, our Minister, the Honourable Jack Dempsey MP, our Deputy Commissioners Ross Barnett from Specialist Operations, Mr Brett Poining from Operation Resolute, Mr Steve Golcheski, Strategy, Policy and Performance, and Mr Peter Barron from Reg Regional Operations, to Acting Chief Superintendent Debbie Platts, Executive Manager, Education and Training, to all commissioned officers on parade today. Mr Kelvin Anderson, Chief Executive Officer of the Public Safety Business Agency, all distinguished guests who have been acknowledged previously today, to all of our police officers and staff members of the Queensland Police Service, including retired officers, ladies and gentlemen, but most importantly to our new 94 constables of police on parade in front of you. It's with great pride and pleasure that I extend a warm welcome to families and friends of our graduating officers as, we, as uh, they are appointed first year constables uh, during the ceremony today. I thank you all and ask you to continue your support for these fine young officers during their careers as they serve in locations across our great state. From experience, I know the job is demanding, not only on the serving member, but for families and friends. But I also know that the very real benefits in terms of places seen and lifelong friendships established as they move through their careers. 
to our graduates today, you are entitled to feel very proud of your achievement, as today marks the end of your training and the beginning of so very much more. Every police officer, retired and serving in this place today, remembers their swearing in parade like it was yesterday. Please cherish the moment. Within this place, you have been inspired with the high ideals and encouraged to achieve your very best in this honourable career. Your sense of duty, loyalty and service to all Queenslanders has been enhanced and strengthened through this training time. Remember, Queensland is a great state and there are great opportunities for you all. You are well prepared for the challenges that lie ahead in your career as a police officer in a rapidly changing environment. You are about to impress upon our community your commitment to your oath of service. Enjoy it and make the most of the experience. You will be stationed all over Queensland. In fact, officers in front of us will go to all five regions across the state. There are many expectations placed on the officer constable and my expectation is that all of our people work together every day to support each other, to stop crime, make the community safer and build strong relationships. Delivering on these objectives requires people of the highest calibre and commitment with a unique combination of qualities such as are held by those before you here today. As our newest constables, you should remember that you are now the public face of the Queensland Police Service and I expect all of our people to act with courage, fairness and pride. You should have the courage to always honour your oath of office and the statement of ethics that was adopted on your behalf by Constable Jay Merchant, who was the recipient of my Commissioner's Award. You should display fairness and be professional at all times acting objectively and without bias, remembering that every member of the public is to be treated with dignity and respect. Every interaction is an opportunity to build relationships and achieve a positive outcome. You should take pride and place a high value on teamwork, people, our performance, our partnerships with the community. Policing, though, can be a dangerous job. You need to accept that there is always an element of risk in police work. You will need to remain vigilant to minimise that risk and avoid complacency, stay alert and always be aware. At various points in your career, you will all be physically, morally and intellectually challenged. Have no doubt that if you were not up to that challenge, you would not be here on this parade today. I'm extremely confident that the future of policing is in good hands with the constables that are here in front of all of us today. Let me conclude by sincerely, sincerely congratulating you all on your graduation. You follow in the footsteps of many great officers and you will add to our rich history. Be confident that you are well prepared for your future and enjoy the challenges and opportunities of having one of the best careers in the world. Well done to you all and good luck in your careers. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Stewart. May I now introduce our principal official guest, the Honourable Jack Dempsey. Commissioner Ian Stewart, distinguished guests, many listed, but I won't go through that uh, uh, long list. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, obviously the, the uh, men and women of the pipes and drums, but uh, most importantly, the 94 recruits that we have here before us, Queensland's finest. If it was easy to get in, everyone would, but you have strived over the last 25 weeks to do your best to have the privilege of being sworn in today as police officers within the Queensland Police Service. I'd personally like to thank your facilitators for their hard work, their dedication, 
and the outstanding uh, new recruits that we see before us. Why I mention everybody here around you, including your family, is because everybody here today is for you. They believe in you, they love you, and they want to see you succeed in your lives and your careers ahead. And how they can achieve that is by you being outstanding citizens and being outstanding police officers. So in advance, I'd particularly like to thank all the families and friends of everybody here today. Because I know, as police officers, you will see the best and you will see the worst what other Queenslanders can give. And I sincerely thank those families, friends and other support people here. I didn't write a speech for today. I thought I'd be sincere, a little bit brief and let you get back to your loved ones fairly quickly. But I must say here, watching you here on parade, being on the sacred acre, looking at the traditions, the signs and symbols we have with the Colour Flag Party, the band, this year, the first lot of recruits after 150 years of policing in Queensland, there is a great deal of tradition. And on those shoulders that we have in front of you carries those last 150 years, but the next 150 years ahead. And it certainly is a hard task. You've signed the certificate, you've made an oath to protect and serve the people of Queensland, to protect property and, and save lives. An oath to serve without uh, favour, affection, malice or ill will. So today you leave the same authority and same responsibilities as the most senior police officers we have here today. The right to take away another Queenslander's freedoms and their liberties. And we take that very seriously because each single officer represents the whole of the Queensland Police Service. That blue line, the Queensland Police family. And it's very important that uh, we maintain the integrity, the professionalism, the, uh, the hard work and dedication. If I could say four, five words or phrases, it's rise up, unite, believe, commit and determination. And that's what you will have to do every day. You will have to rise up to the challenges ahead of you. You will have to be united. You will have to use that teamwork to get through. You will have to believe in what you do. You will have to show great determination and you'll have to be committed to the task. And that is not something that every other Queenslander has to do. That has to be shown by exceptional police officers that I know I have before us. So again, I'd like to say thank you on behalf of all Queenslanders for the hard work, the dedication and the task before you. Please try everything. And I sincerely say that uh, before going to work at any given time, any shift to make sure that you uh, hug and, and uh, obviously embrace your loved ones, partners or friends and leave to work on a happy note because you certainly do not know what's ahead of you. It is a hard task. It's a journey that you certainly will enjoy. You've had a journey through the, the academy here and the camaraderie but you certainly will enjoy a great deal more of that in the future. So with those words I say thank you. I wish you all the best on your careers ahead and uh, on behalf of all the people of Queensland, again, all the best, try hard, and don't leave any stone unturned. All the best. Thank you, Mr Dempsey. The parade will now retire and reform in preparation to complete the final segment of this ceremony.
In the final manoeuvre of this ceremony, the parade will advance in review order. This movement involves the constables marching forward in line, concluding with the general salute. This is performed with no offensive spirit and is given as a mark of respect to the principal official guest, commissioner of police and members of the executive leadership team. The parade commander, Inspector Darren Carnes, will now resume command of the parade. The parade commander will now call for the parade sergeant and hand over command. Ladies and gentlemen, the flag party accompanied by the Queensland Police Pipes and Drums will march off parade to Black Bear and Scotland the Brave. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. The constables started as a recruit intake in August 2013 and were trained in four individual groups. They will now form a united intake in preparation to serve the community of Queensland as police officers.
The parade sergeant will now call for a member of the graduating intake to assume command of the new constables. This final gesture recognises the individual for his performance in the leadership role throughout the training program. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the new constables of the Queensland Police Service. Before the new constables are dismissed, may I thank you once again for being here with us this afternoon. At the conclusion of the parade, please feel free to move on to the parade ground to congratulate the men and women who will now join their colleagues serving the people of Queensland in law enforcement. The parade host, Acting Chief Superintendent Platts, would then like to invite you for light refreshments to be served in the Academy dining room. On behalf of the members of the Queensland Police Service Senior Executive, may I thank you for your attendance and wish you a very good evening and a safe journey home. Constable Paulson will now lead the new members in thanking you in their own special way. He will then dismiss the parade. <laughs>